Hey everyone, I wanted to do a really quick video. Um, I said before I was going to show the photo blocks that I made if anyone was interested. So these are the photo blocks that I made for my boyfriend for his birthday last year. Um, they were pretty easy to make. Um, they're just pieces of wood that actually I think my friend was doing renovations and she had some extra pieces so we both made I made photo blocks and she made like word blocks like I made like the trick or treat but she made ones that said let it snow um, so this is what I chose to do for my boyfriend and what I did was I painted first we primed them because otherwise the wood just soaks up the paint and it will be take like 10,000 coats and uh, then I just kind of roughed up all the edges with sandpaper just to kind of give it a distressed look because it's really flat if it doesn't have something like that. Like it would look fine if, but I like the way it looks when it's a little bit distressed. Um, I then took pictures of each of my puppies. This is my dog McGee. This is my one of my favorite photos of him. And uh, after the wood was dry, I just used um, Mod Podge to stick it on. You can kind of see. But I think next time I'm going to try something different because the Mod Podge bubbled as it dried. So each one has a little bit of a bubble on it, which kind of makes me a little bit mad. But whatever. You can't really see it unless you're like up close and looking. So then I just put each picture on a block. Just trim the picture so that there was a little bit of a border around each one so you could see the black. So that's the one I did of McGee. This is my Jack Russell Milo. And then the same thing you can you can see there where he bubbled just that picture bubbled just a little bit. That one. And then this is my girl Darby. Oh she's not in frame. That's my girl Darby. Um and I think hers bubbled a tiny bit. Hers bubbled the least bit, but I don't remember there was a reason why but I think next time I'm gonna try the white glue because on my trick-or-treat sign it didn't bubble at all so then uh, you can arrange it any way you want but I had it I always stack it in a like a little bit of a like a pyramid so then all three go together and that's what I did with the photo blocks that I made for my mom too I did the three and then the word down here I painted this word by hand because at the time I did not have my Cricut yet I think I would just cut it out in the Cricut next time. Not that I don't like that, it's just easier to cut it out in the Cricut and just glue them on. So uh, for this one I put love and then on the one I made for my mom I wrote family and I think I did a little heart too and then I just put um, three photos like one of my brother and his wife and one of me and my boyfriend and one of my sister and uh, her now ex-boyfriend. <laughs> so that photo might have to be changed but anyway um, yeah, so then there was like the photos of the three couples and siblings of couples that my mom really liked. And, uh, yeah, so something really simple to do and I think it turned out pretty nice. My boyfriend really liked it, so I think I'm going to maybe do one, another one, but I don't know what I'll write down there, but I'll have the base again and I might do either like just two pictures of us or like one bigger picture of us or something, something different. Anyway, I just thought I'd share because I said I would, so here's my photo blocks. Hope you enjoy. I'll probably have another video soon because I have gotten in most of my stamping up sets that I bought off eBay. So I'll do a haul once they're all in. Okay, so have a good weekend. Bye!